This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false, and then it gives a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. A lot of people are asking me, do I think AMC and GME still have the potential to squeeze, still have the potential to go to the moon? And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. You have to come to your own conclusions, okay? Because what I might consider a good investment, you might consider a bad investment. But I will tell you this. Do you think these criminals, these AMC, GME, RICO conspirators have stopped engaging in criminal activity? Of course they haven't, okay? Of course they haven't. They have not closed their short positions. You got so many AMC FTDs. You got so many GME FTDs. And you know why? Because these bad actors keep fabricating counterfeit shares every single day to short into the market in order to manipulate the price and rob retail investors, rob pension funds, and rob institutions that follow the law. That's really the bottom line. Okay, so do I think AMC and GME still have the potential to squeeze? Of course it does. Of course it does. And the reason why, they haven't covered their short positions. Instead of covering their short positions, every single day, they add millions more counterfeit shorts, million more counterfeit shorts. Their only hope is that retail investors eventually give up. Institutions that are long on the stock eventually give up. But guess what? A lot of retail investors, myself included, been in the place so long that they would rather watch it go to zero than to let these guys get out. And hopefully, and this is just a hope, when the CAT system reports release at the end of the month, hopefully that forces the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI to enforce the rules of the market. When we see AMC dropping, when we see GME dropping, do you think it's because retail investors are all of a sudden selling their shares this close to Moaz? Of course they're not selling their shares. These are the bad actors. These are the AMC, GME, Rico conspirators doubling and tripling down on the criminal behavior. And you know why? Because they can. Because there's no real consequences. If they get caught, what happens? They get a fine, a slap on the wrist. They don't even have to acknowledge any culpability in the matter, and it's business as usual. But as long as there's retail investors, as long as there's institutions that follow the law, as long as there's pension funds that follow the law, I think these bad actors, these AMC, GME, RICO conspirators that are still naked shooting AMC and still naked shooting GME, I believe they are all still in deep trouble and trapped and that AMC and GME can squeeze at any time. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think because these AMC Rico conspirators, these GME Rico conspirators have not covered their shares, is it possible for AMC and GME still to squeeze? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.